When I was preparing for a CXC math exam, I practiced past papers and pay attention in class and went, also went to extra class. For CSEC English, I listened to my teacher and read stories and revised. For English, to be honest, it wasn't really something I found complicated but we make it easier. I normally try to like speak, just try to talk English most of the times. So when you come on to the time to like writing and stuff, it made it a lot easier. Do extra lessons now and then. What I did honestly for math, most of the questions on the CXE, they repeat every year. It's like the same syllabus. So they have to teach you the same thing. Instead of trying to study the entire syllabus, you know, and that what you study might not definitely come. So now I might just study everything on the past papers. And the majority of them came back. Um, and I got a one in English and a two in math, so I guess it worked. For me, when it comes on to studying, I feel like I'm easily distracted. I have to find like quietness. But once I have food, I'm good. What I did the night before the math CSEC examination was that I practiced my equations and make sure that I know each step towards solving my answers. I prepared by studying from past papers, practicing how to write my essays. For CXC math, I actually went to a lot of classes and I studied a lot and practiced math a lot because at some point I, have, I had some certain issues. For English, I had a lot of past papers, so I would practice them. So basically for English, you know, you have to practice it by speaking it, reading, reading a lot of um, comprehension, a lot of lit books. Um, basically, a lot of practice was done. For math, um, same formula. You basically practice, practice from the book. Uh, you, you basically form study groups with those who are better than you. That's a very good tip. If you have to bribe them, like, you, I would give them lunch money, just help me out, because I don't want to fail. For, for, you see me? Because at the end of the day, you want to make mommy and daddy proud. What I did for my English exam was that a couple of days before, I tried to go through the steps that my teacher showed me, how to write the stories, how to do uh, persuasive writing, and practice based off of the steps and see how good I can actually write a story on my own. And then basically do some reading to find new words, just in case I do some form of vocabulary check and stuff like that. For math, I went to math classes after school. Um, teachers helped me. We had few study sessions. Then in English, we, we did the same thing, went to English classes. I read a lot of English books and uh, that was basically it. And um, the night before English, I was prepared and achieved what I wanted to achieve. Pertaining to math, uh, I studied, practiced a lot, went over past papers, watched videos. It helped a lot in the sense that seeing what was happening helped give me a better understanding. English, reading, pronouncing the words, seeing the words used in the pro proper grammar and stuff like that, it helps a lot. So I suggest that if you are slow in either of these subjects, just put these into practice and you'll become better at it.